Worshiping the Holy Ghost changes your conscience. It takes it from being a sin consciousness to being like Him, holy. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 4 and verse 24 God is. A spirit say God is a spirit. God is a spirit and they that worship him so we got two things going on here right now God mm -hmm. is a spirit and we've got they that worship him mm -hmm. who's the they that worship him people that worship God the Spirit yes say people that worship God the Spirit are they that worship him is this too difficult yeah. anyway God is the spirit they that worship him must worship him mm -hmm. in spirit and in truth we can see here that we should worship him in fact we must worship him yes. say I must worship him. worship him some people just need to be exposed to things that they haven't been exposed to many times simple exposure is the best way to go forward and i'm telling you you have never heard what i'm about to say before so we know first of all that god is a spirit right god is a spirit we just read that verse god is a spirit and you should worship him genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god now if you didn't know any of the rest of the Bible you would at least know that in the beginning God and now we can progress on the revelation of God who he is and the rest of the Bible does that mm -hmm. and the Spirit of God or literally the Spirit God yes. so up till now it just said God but now he's beginning to add to your revelation of who this God that it's talking about is mm -hmm. he's a spirit God say he's a spirit God he's a spirit God. God is a spirit this is most likely the one we should be worshiping right that Jesus said you should worship God God is a spirit you should worship him well here oh the Spirit of God moved on the face of the waters and God said so we know he's he's God he's a spirit God he moves and he says things mm -hmm. all right so from the beginning we know that God is a spirit mm -hmm. and then he created man in his image we're not going to take all the time to read all these things but man was created in the image of God so man must of necessity be a spirit being we'll get into this later he also has a soul and lives in a body a physical body mm -hmm. but he had to be at least a spirit being because we know God is a spirit yes. and he made man in his image mm -hmm. right yes. say man is, a man is a spirit so God is a spirit and man is a spirit made in the image of God yes. well let's fast forward John chapter 7 verse 39 but this spake he jesus mm -hmm. of the spirit they have the spirit of the spirit who's jesus talking about the spirit. the spirit this spake jesus of the spirit which they that believe on him jesus mm -hmm. should receive they should receive. should receive for the holy ghost was not yet given because that jesus was not yet glorified now we have some revelation about who this spirit is the holy ghost so we know that he's a spirit 
and we know he's a holy spirit some translations just don't say ghost they say spirit he's the holy spirit mm -hmm. that they that believe on jesus should receive are you here yes but couldn't yet because jesus was not yet glorified which means jesus had not yet finished what he needed to do by paying your, the price for your sins mm -hmm. and being glorified so we have more progression of revelation about this spirit he is the holy spirit mm -hmm. say he's not just a spirit he's, not just a spirit. he's the, holy spirit. the holy spirit john chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless i tell you the truth it's expedient for you that i go away for if i go not away the comforter will not come to you but if I depart, I will send him unto you. Would the Holy Ghost have come if Jesus didn't depart? No. Did Jesus depart? Yes. 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 Did the Holy Ghost come? Yes. yes. Jesus' departure bore away your sins. He went away. He took them away. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. He bore away your sins. So his departure was requisite to the Holy Ghost coming because the Holy Ghost wouldn't come unless Jesus bore away your sins. Is this making sense? Mm -hmm. This is straight up gospel, folks. Mm -hmm. Jesus departing, bearing away your sins, paved the way for the Holy Spirit to come and be with you he would not come and be with you if jesus didn't bear your sins away Amen. Right? Right, right why because he's the holy spirit so the spirit we're talking about that you should worship is the holy spirit hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 by the which will we are sanctified say sanctified it's another word for made holy by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all say once for all, once for all. is that enough yeah. I guess so mm -hmm. verse 11 this man after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever mm -hmm. sat down on the right hand of God from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool for so from henceforth expecting from henceforth he's still there expecting mm -hmm. say Jesus is still there Jesus is still there expecting. expecting verse 14 for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified so who do you suppose does this sanctification this making holy the holy ghost he does it jesus paid the price but the holy ghost is the one who does the making holy the sanctifying yes second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 but we are bound to give thanks always to god for you brethren beloved of the lord because god has from the beginning say from the beginning. from the beginning god from the beginning chose you to salvation meaning he had this idea from the beginning to re-sanctify mm -hmm. they were holy in the beginning they were holy in the beginning from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit of the spirit you're sanctified by the spirit by the holy ghost he's the one who does the sanctifying first thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23 and the very god of peace sanctify you holy who did it just say was sanctifying them the spirit right so this spirit the very god of peace which will be the spirit sanctify you holy mm -hmm. and i pray god your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless 
unto the coming of the Lord Jesus who's doing the sanctifying the very God of peace the Holy Ghost it can't be Jesus because you're being preserved blameless unto the coming of him yes. spirit soul and body that means you are a spirit you have a soul which is your mind mm -hmm. your will and your emotions mm -hmm. and you live in a body I pray your whole spirit so you're still a spirit say I'm still a spirit, I'm still a spirit. you were made a spirit in the beginning mm -hmm. and now your spirit has to be sanctified by the Holy Spirit yes. Psalms 103 and then verse 12 as far as the east is from the west how far is the east from the west it's infinitely it, it never gets there right as far as the east is from the west so far hath he removed our transgressions from us your transgressions would be your sins yes he's removed them through the sacrifice of the lord jesus him departing and taking and bearing them away and the sanctification of the holy ghost he's the one who does it yes. say the holy ghost is the one who does it he took them away as far as the east is from the west yes. do you still have them no. no who makes this verse of scripture real to us the holy ghost it's part of the sanctification that he does yes. Romans chapter 4 verse 8 blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin is that a blessing or a curse a blessing. that's a blessing to whom the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin he won't do it he's removed your sins as far as from the east is from the west and now he won't impute sin to you who does this the Holy Ghost who makes this real to you the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost you suppose him being a Holy Ghost he comes and he gets next to you and he moves in with you and he makes you holy like he's holy yes. he makes this real to you who do you worship God is a spirit and they that worship him yes. there's a they that worship him they that worship him the Holy Spirit must worship him in spirit and in truth the in spirit means in kind mm -hmm. they that worship the Holy Spirit must worship him in kind god is a spirit they that worship him must worship him in spirit he is the holy spirit they that worship him are holy spirits he is the lord of spirits that worship him he is the lord of holy spirits that worship him i hope i'm getting this across are you a holy spirit yes. it would be very tentative to say that you are a holy spirit they that worship him mm -hmm. are holy spirits there is a holy ghost there's only one holy ghost mm -hmm. capital h capital g but there's a bunch of holy ghosts that worship him are you here i hope i'm getting this across to you because there's a freedom found in this that you can't have any other way yes. first peter 1 16 says it is written be ye holy for i am holy mm -hmm. be ye for i am mm -hmm. who do you worship the holy ghost so what is holy a little clue here he said i am holy mm -hmm. well, what is holy 
he is mm -hmm. what's the definition of holy him mm -hmm. he's holy now you get into the weeds here and there's a lot of weeds because everybody thinks that they know what holiness is and what holiness is all about and usually it's an unend unending list of do's and don'ts things you do things you don't do mm -hmm. right? right and if you do the list and you don't do the other list then somehow you're holy he said be ye holy for i am holy knowing him being sanctified by and unto him is holiness who do you worship the holy ghost you're being sanctified by him and unto him that's holiness yes. this makes you holy now i've been on both sides with my list and on this side with him this is better yes. I know him I walk with him I worship him and I didn't do this before with my list mm -hmm. this is what I do now is I worship him and I be holy as he is holy are you getting this yes. there's a liberty over here that I didn't have before a liberty that is obtained by worshiping him there's a liberty there's a freedom freedom from what you say freedom from sin a liberty that comes only by knowing and worshiping him because he is holy he is holiness are you getting this yes. 2nd Corinthians 3 17 where the Spirit Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty Liberty means freedom holiness is also a consciousness remember Adam and Eve when they sinned what happened God showed back up in the garden he was like they thought they were naked and they clothed themselves with leaves remember this mm -hmm. what God say who told you you were naked who told them nobody their consciousness was now that they had sin they were conscious of their sin are you here yes. before that they had no consciousness of sins holiness is a consciousness remember by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2 because the worshipers once say once once, once purged should have had no more conscience of sins who has no more conscience of sins worshipers who do you worship the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost changes your conscience it takes it from being a sin consciousness to being like him holy yes. God is a spirit they that worship him worship him in kind worship him in holiness worship him the worshipers once purged no more conscience of sins the worshipers who makes this real holy ghost, holy ghost makes it real you don't have any more conscience of sins no not when i'm worshiping him he makes it real it's already paid for i showed you that are there benefits of having no sin say zero sin. zero sin the number one benefit is that you have a relationship with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the Lord of Spirits they that worship him mm -hmm. isn't this just a license to sin 
this is a license to go from glory to glory with the spirit lord the holy ghost it's a liberty it's a freedom that we obtain only from the spirit lord god is a spirit and they that worship him worship him in kind in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth him as the holy spirit you worship you as a made holy spirit mm -hmm. small h small s are you getting this mm -hmm. in kind you worship him now you've heard of a species right speciesism is when someone believes that their species being a man mankind is greater than lower species mm -hmm. say lower species lower species would be a dog or a cat mm -hmm. you know a lot of people get upset about this mm -hmm. but it's true i'm greater than dogs i'm greater than cats my species being a person right yes i'm a speciesist i believe that some species are better and greater than others are you here this yes. isn't difficult i'm trying to i'm trying to lead you up to something mm -hmm. well there is a new species now remember man fell mm -hmm. from where he was before his holiness of being and walking with god the holy ghost mm -hmm. They sinned and he fell to a lower position you could say a lower species mm -hmm. well this new species that I'm talking about one that was extinct except back all the way to the beginning was extinct are you here yes the pre sin species holy spirits that walked with a Holy Spirit God yes. they've been extinct but they're now coming back are you here yes. they've been found again lift your hand and say they've been found again they've been found again holy spirits that worship the holy spirit the lord of spirits we're in the earth again fallen man was a lower species oh you think you're better than me no i know i'm better than you because I walk with the living God I know the Holy Ghost the Lord of Spirits and I worship him in fact I must worship him and I live with him and walk with him in the earth like they used to in the early days pre sin yes. say pre -sin. pre sin this is where we're at I hope you're enjoying it and all the benefits that come from worshiping the Holy Ghost and knowing him will begin to arise upon you we thank you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i thank you that you're the lord of spirits and i walk with you in holiness of spirit and your blessings begin to manifest in my life in every way physically financially and in every other way in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth today